Do you have a dog that's scared of cracker noises? We have all encountered at least someone who tells us how much their dogs get stressed out during Diwali. If you have been wondering how to manage this issue or you just got a puppy and you want to know how to prevent this from happening to your dog, this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Think Dogs. I am Smita. This video is available in other languages as well. So please check the description for links to watch this video in a different language. Diwali is fast approaching and that's a very stressful time for many dogs as well as their pet parents who often struggle with their dog's noise phobia. So in this video, we will discuss how to prepare your dog for Diwali, your options to manage severe noise aversions in your dog and how to continue having a normal lifestyle during Diwali. If your dog shows fearful behavior due to loud noises like crackers or thunder, it's a good idea to start getting them desensitized to noises as early as possible. That means when they are puppies. The best way to manage a problem is to prevent it from happening in the first place. A lot of pet parents get the wrong advice to never take their dog out of their home until after 4 or 5 months old. But by then, the socialization window is already rapidly closing. So, to prevent a dog from being fearful of noises, start by socializing them early. That is, as soon as you bring them home, starting around 2 months of age. Now, if you already have an adult dog that shows fearful or anxious behavior like panting, shaking, whining or hiding due to loud noises, here is what you can do to make life a little bit easier for them. Crate train or create a safe space that belongs entirely to the dog. A crate is a safe space for the dog to sleep in. Ideally, a crate should feel comfortable, be the right temperature and even better if it feels like a cave because dogs instinctively seek out small enclosed spaces to create a sense of protection. A crate also prevents a dog from running around in fear, therefore hurting themselves. Exercise. Now, as counterintuitive as this sounds, Exercise helps remove excess energy and anxiety in a dog. So if the exercises utilize a dog's nose, it will tire your dog out faster. Consider adding some form of scent tracking as part of the daily games and exercise routine. Desensitizing to noises. This simply means getting the dog used to the noise by gradual exposure. You could start by finding the lowest threshold your dog can tolerate and slowly increase it. You could also add distractions like treats or toys, add distance between your dog and the source of noise and slowly bring it closer. This process should always be done very slowly over a period of several weeks. Mark DeCosta, who is a Nipopo certified professional trainer, explains and demonstrates how this is done. Please note, there are several steps to this apart from what has been demonstrated. Work with a professional dog trainer to get your dog desensitized to sounds. I'm a professional dog trainer and I have been training dogs, pet dogs and working dogs for the past 14 years. I have come across the system of training called Nipopo, a patented system by Bart and Michael Bellone, where a box training method is utilized for a young puppy. This box is nothing else but a small box of specific uh, dimensions where the puppy can just only put his front paws inside and its head inside and start feeding from it. This causes environmental blindness around the puppy and it is more focused on eating that it ignores very very light sounds that are coming from its environment. It also learns to ignore if it is being touched in a light manner. It does not react, but is concentrating on eating its food. As time grows by, we put in more and more criteria into the system of box training that the dog learns to totally avoid any kind of environmental sounds, which we can define as stress to the dog at that point of time, and it becomes into a confident adult. It ignores all this. Finally, the box is faded out and it becomes really good that it can undergo any kind of stress that comes from extreme noise levels. You will see 
in the following videos how this is started but please try and understand that this is not a one time procedure or a one time training that can be done on a puppy and voila like magic the dog has become good it takes time it takes understanding the body language of a dog and it takes patience and innovation from the trainer's point of view to get this dog from level 0 to level 10 Most cracker noises usually start during the day and intensify during the evening. So consider feeding and walking your dog much before the noises start. So if you prefer to walk them after the noises stop, beware of the fumes and smell from the crackers too. Remember to always make all food and lifestyle changes very slowly. For example, if you walk your dog at 7 a.m. in the morning, walk them at 6:30 a.m. for a few days and then 6 a.m. and so on. So by the time Diwali starts they should be able to go out and walk by 5 am or whatever time you think is most feasible for you soundproof your home or at least a room soundproofing a room can be as simple as hanging up more curtains so they can dampen the noise block out the gaps of the doors and windows add more objects such as pots to dissipate the noise or adding custom panels and acoustic foam depending on your budget Additionally you can also buy ear muffs or ear covers these are available in the market and come in a variety of fabrics suited to your dog's size and fur type medication or anxiety oils there are several oils available for dogs made from essential oils that are known to reduce anxiety in dogs alternatively there are also allopathic medications that help in keeping the dog calm however a word of caution Make sure you thoroughly check the ingredients in some of these oils and medications because some ingredients can be problematic for pregnant dogs dogs with underlying health conditions like epilepsy allergy or kidney problems some pet parents simply decide to go away on a holiday with their pet away from the noise at a far off location Tellington touch wrap this is a body wrap that uses elastic bandages to apply gentle pressure on certain focal points on a dog's body There are variations to this like the t-shirt wrap, half body wrap, basic wrap and so on. Uh depending on your dog's comfort levels, you can use them. In the interest of the length of this video, I cannot go in depth about this, but there are plenty of resources available online for you to learn how to do this, to understand how long you can leave this wrap on your dog and figure out what works best for your dog. Lastly, remember to keep a first aid box handy and go through a list of local veterinary hospitals. map out the distances and timings that these are open that work the best for you just in case there is an emergency that's all i have for today if you have any best practices on managing your dog during diwali please feel free to comment down below i hope this helps you have a safe and happy diwali thank you for watching